Hello friends, very good morning. Welcome to Engineering Basic. Today we will study in this video to find the array element which is not divisible by 5 and 10. Today we will study in this video to find the array element, array programs. Okay. And if you haven't subscribed this channel, then please go and subscribe to watch my further video. Now let's see how to find the array elements which is not divisible by 5 and 10. First, I'll write the question here. Write a program. Write a program to find the array element which is not divisible by by 5 and 10 5 and 10 in what in flowchart okay in flowchart first we should understand what is array and how it is true how much value is this true? how much value it is true okay in this array array i'll keep 5 and what is in this a means what and 5 means what here here a is the a is the name of array what name of array a is the name of array and what is five five means the size of array size of array this, this size of array always start from zero means it will start from zero 1, 2, 3, 4. How much value? 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is stored 5 value. If it, if it will be 10, the size of array it will, it will be 10. And how much it will store? 0, 1, 2, 2, 9. Means how much it is decreasing? By, my, by 1. Right? Means here it is decreasing 5 minus 1. In this here, de here decreasing. 10 minus 1, 10 minus 1. It is decreasing by minus 1, by 1, right? If it will be no, then what it will be? No, minus 1. Understood this thing? Okay. And one thing, remember this. The size of array should always be in positive. Means what I'm going to tell here, if it will be minus, then the, this is wrong. It will be error. Here, the size of array should always be on positive. You can write minus 5 plus 10. Plus 10. Then it will be, this is right. But minus 5 only, it will not be right. Means minus 5 plus 10, it will become positive value. So, size of array is right. But the size of array always should be on positive, not in negative. Remember this thing. Okay. Now, let's see how to solve this program. How to solve this program. Okay. Now what we'll do first, we'll take array element one name of array A. I'll take name of array A in this program and size of array I'll take now. Okay. Now what will be on this for loop? It will start from I equal in for loop I it will be initialized, it will be I equal to zero from zero, it will start to how much? To how much you know? Norm minus one, right? Norm minus one. Now I have told this thing. How norm minus one? Okay. And this this array name of array a it is this a will be stored all i means initialized value will store here. Okay. After this, it will run again from i i equal to i equal to 0 to how much? To num minus 1. Okay. Now then it will then it will uh, then it will tell it is divisible by 5 or not. 5 and 10 or not. Okay. Means this this now it is stored in AI. Means size of size of array is I and name of array is A. It is it is stored here all the all the input. Right. All the input value is stored here. So what we'll do here? 
a i the size of array is i remainder 5 is not equal to means not equal to sign is this on this this not equal to okay is not equal to 0 and in this one not and and is sign of this and not divisible by 10 so again a i div not divisible by 10 not divisible by 10 is equal to 0 then it will it, it will go on true side right not divisible by then it will go on true side okay then we can write anything i'll write in this the uh, i'll write here first then i'll first the array element array element element which is not divisible by 5 and 10 is 5 and 10 is I'll keep this output so I'll double quote and here also close right and I have to display this AI right a I okay now this thing will do in flowchart let's see in flowchart First, go on declare, right? And what what you will take here now? So I'll take now. Now I initialization value I, I. Okay. Now I'll I'll tell to give an array element. Go on output and tell the enter the number. Enter. Enter the number. array the video will be little long but understand it will, it will be good for you all don't be panic now in input will take no understood this then now what will store this this value will store means the size of array in array okay then go on declare see this nicely go on declare and click here what you will take the size of array is here name of array is a click on array here click on array the size of array is now no so right no data type is integer okay here data type is integer name of array is a and size of array is no okay now what i'll tell again go on output if you click, click here 5, then it will give this value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll tell enter the integer. Enter the enter the integer. Understood this? If you will write now no, size of size of array 5, then what it will go? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? That will show that I have it, I have told there enter the integer. Okay, now what we'll do, go on for loop, go on for loop and write here, variable is i, a starting value how much, 0, ending value is our now minus 1, okay, understood this thing, now this thing, now this what we'll do here is, we'll store, go on input, and we'll store a i. Okay. If it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then here it will be 0, 2, now minus 1, it will come here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Means this, this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 will store here. Understood this? this? Now what we'll do? Again, go on for loop. Again, go on for loop. This, if you if you'll understand this. And you will do on C also same. It, there will be on C, but a little syntax is only different. Again, go I starting value is zero and ending value is the minus one. The minus one. 
Okay. Now what the program is telling? Write a program to find the array element which is not divisible by five and ten. So, which is divisible by five and not uh, which is divisible not divisible by five and ten. So we have to take decision. What we have to take decision go on if and write here same thing here. You can copy this also. Otherwise, I'll write it. Mode five, sorry, mode AI mode five is not equal to zero. Is not equal to zero and and mode ten is not equal to. Zero. Understood this? If the program will tell, write a program to find the error element which is divisible by five and ten. Then what you will do? Remove this and this this sign. Remove this here also and this also here also. Okay. Understood? If it will tell which is divisible by five and ten, remove this not sign. Now what it will be? Not it will go on true side. What you will write two side? Write in double quote the array element which is not divisible not divisible by five and ten is close this. And that can, but a, and it is stored in i. So I'll write i. Okay. Now look, I'll run this program. Telling to give the enter the name of array. Number of array. Sorry, number of array. I'll give here five. How much it will store? Enter the integer. Enter five. Five integer. Any anything you can tell. I can I'll tell five, nine, eight, ten. You can enter anything. How much value? One, two, three, four. Now again one value. I'll give seven. Here is the the array element which is not divisible by five each. Five and ten is nine. We 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 know that five and ten is not divisible by nine. The array element which is not divisible by eight seven. Now here look. Five is divisible, nine is not divisible, eight is not divisible, and ten is also divisible. So the five and ten should not be come. Then again, other all the input should be come. Now see here, what the telling here? Again, I'll run this. See here, enter the number of array. Enter the number of array. Now I, we have given input. So we'll write five. Now it is stored here. Enter array. Array is num five. Now it will come. What I see? Enter the integer. We have to enter the integer. Any anything ten, twenty, six, eight, seven, seven. We have enter here. Now it is stored. This all this all the value value will be stored first here. Okay. After this, after this, what it will be? All the then it will check how much. Then it will check that five, ten, or what was there was. All it will store. It will check here first. Then it will display the output. Understood? And write go on here in output. You can write thank you. Thank you, Indian Basic. Thank you, Indian Basic. Okay, and if you have one subscribe to this Indian Basic, then please go and subscribe to see the all the programs of flowchart. Again, after see uh, this, see 
and many all the new new things you are if you want to learn and please go and subscribe thank you